Welcome back. I am Bethany Miller live at Clipper Magazine Stadium because this is the place to be tonight. The Lancaster Stormers just one win away from clinching their spot in the Atlantic League playoffs as the second half champions. And here to break it all down with me, Mike Reynolds. Thank you so much for joining me, the GM of the Stormers. What does it say about this team? the resilience to be at this point in the season and be in this position tonight to make the postseason. You know, it says a lot about Ross, our coaches, the, the, the roster that he's put together. Um, the first half, you know, 30 in a row hasn't gone the way that we want it to go, but these teams come together. They start to gel. We make a couple moves um, to, to, you know, perfect the clubhouse. We'll also perfect the, the bullpen and the starting rotation. Um, get guys hitting the ball. We have been very um, uh, strong at the plate in this second half. So uh, it, it just, Ross just puts a strong team together. He, he, he finds them the, the pieces to put together for the second half, and it's working this year again. And they're putting their, themselves in a position to win the league for the third straight season or win the second half to yeah. become the first team to do it too. Yeah. What does that say about your organization? You know, we are, we, are, we are here to win both on the field and off the field. We are very fortunate with the community that supports us. We're fortunate with the ownership group in our front office, Ross the, the, and the coaching staff. Um, we, we, we love what we do and we want to be the best as often as we can, right? So to be able to get into the playoffs and just have an opportunity to become the first team in Atlantic League history to win back to back to back. Mm -hmm. championships. Um, it, it, it's exciting um, and we are here to always win, like I said, on and off the field. Uh, you mentioned the community. You get to do it in front of your home fans, hopefully tonight with a win or a Long Island loss. The fans, how, how cool of a present would that be to give them here tonight? Oh, we have the best fans, not only in the Atlantic League, but we have the best fans in all of minor league baseball. One of my favorite quotes of all time actually was uh, two years ago um, when we beat uh, Southern Maryland in the, uh, it was game two, Jersey Gate. Um, I went home and rewatched the game and, and the voice of the Stormers, 20 year employee here, Dave Collins, he said that night when I rewatched the game, any affiliated or unaffiliated minor league ball club would be uh, are jealous yeah. of what we were able to get here in those nights, Tuesday and Wednesday night for attendance. Um, and he's done it for 40 plus years, so he would know. And so that just says, yeah, we have a great staff that reaches out and gets the community to come here. But that says the community is here to support us as well. So we're, we're looking forward to doing more and more of this, uh, hopefully over the next couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully against the next couple of weeks and hopefully against the Susquehanna Valley foe yes. in the York Revolution. We are looking forward to it. That would start next Tuesday. If so, Mike Reynolds, thank you so much for joining me. Back to you guys in studio.